Hello everyone, the handsome boy is back and today we're gonna review KOF 15 and KOF 15 is of course a game and this is gonna be my first gaming review on this channel so all I'm asking for you guys is please cut me some slack okay please this is gonna be my first gaming review and I'm not masterful you guys know that I mean I, I have footage of the game I mean you can search on my YouTube for KOF 15 gameplay you can see how the game plays but I'm not gonna edit it into he into uh, yeah, this video, so yeah, sorry about that. I'm not that masterful yet, I'm not that far. I'll get it far one day, believe me guys. But for now, just please, please cut me some slack. So, my first game review. I'm gonna do my first impressions of the game. I'm gonna then talk about the single player content and about the gameplay. Then I'm gonna talk about the multiplayer, multiplayer content. And then I'm gonna talk about if it was worth the hype. And my final verdict because I was very hyped for this game. So let's freaking start. So okay, KOF 15. First impressions. My first impressions. My first impressions were actually very good. I mean, I went into tr the tutorials and I I thought the tutorials were okay. They were okay actually. I mean, they just see some basic stuff. This that. So yeah, it was okay for me. Overall, the the graphics are very good in this game. Definitely a step up. Uh, above uh, KOF 14. I find in 14 that uh, the characters looked, uh, s some looked uh, decent, some looked uh, yeah, pretty ugly, but they lacked personality. That's actually the thing, they lacked personality. But here, they don't lack personality actually. Here, they have, uh, they have enough personality. I mean, I can really see their personality in, uh, in uh, how they are designed actually. The graphics are very good. This is definitely a better 3D anime game than 14 was, even though 14 is still a great game. If I have to give the if I have to give the graphics a verdict, I'll go with a 9 out of 10. The graphics are 9 out of 10. And uh, for those who are gonna say, but Joshua, what would you give uh, KOF 13 graphics? Also 9 out of 10. They're on par um, if we are, are talking about graphics. KOF 13 and 15 both look very good. So yeah, so yeah, sue me, I said it. They both look very good. Sue me! So yeah, I think they look, they look very good. Characters have more personality, and I even uh, and uh, the main protagonist Shune is a great example of that. I mean, in 14, I thought it was pretty meh. I thought it looked, it was very bland. And look, this this was this was, this was his impression for the most of the game. This was his, his expression. This was his expression. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. This was his expression. Expression. This was his entire freaking face. This was his face constantly. So yeah, I wasn't really fond of Shune, but here he finally shows personality. I mean, you can see him la laugh sometimes, actually. I mean, in his uh, in his when he, when he wins, he actually puts on a smile. And he actually I'm talking to the, com to the other combatants, actually. And it shows personality. And also, I heard some someone say something about Ash. That, uh, and uh, then when Ash was presented as a villain, that he was laughing while uh, attacking the opponent, but here he doesn't actually laugh, but so that he has matured actually. And I really like the little details in the in the game. So yeah, first impressions are very good. I really have uh, very good impressions. Now let's talk about a single player content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I actually play more single player than multiplayer. Go ahead, laugh at me fighting game community, because uh, yeah, I, I know most most people who play fighting games play online, but I just. I play single player because I'm trying to get good or try or I'm trying to get better because or else I would I will get whooped every time I go online. That's, that's not fun either because I want to get some wins. Yeah, so that's why I'm go so that's why I'm mostly in single player mode. I go online when I feel like it, but I just I'm trying to get good or better. So yeah, but the single player content we have story mode, we have uh, we have versus, we have training, we have um, we have we have missions or trials. And if you want to count tutorials, yeah, t t tutorials is part of it. But yeah, I've already explained tutorials. So yeah, story mode. Story mode isn't really a full-fledged story mode like a Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. It is more like a, like the same arcade mode with cinematic cutscenes. But I thought the cinematic cutscenes were more informative in this one actually. But you have to play specific teams like Team Hero, Team Ash, Team Sacred Treasures, Team Rifles. I think those teams you really have to play to understand the story more. So yeah, that's the only thing I'm gonna say. The story mode is, is actually very fun. I mean the arcade mode actually is very fun. It is 8 stages and it's very fun to go for the arcade mode. 
I mean, it's definitely better than Tekken 7's arcade mode. Look, I have nothing against Tekken 7, but arcade mode was very disappointing. I mean, fa five stages. Come on, man. I mean, I played Tekken 5. So, yeah, it is eight stages. Um, good good, good uh, amount of stages. I really enjoyed this arcade mode. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. And it's even and it's even more fun when you consider that you can even take out you can even take alternative teams. I mean I even did a video on it and it's very fun. Then we have versus. You can of course do a 3v3, so that's with teams, normal King of Fighters shit, and 1v1. Well King of Fighters is mostly just actually with teams. That's what uh that's what the tournament's about. It's just with teams actually. But in versus you can pick teams or just 1v1. You can even do a tournament with your friends if you like. So it's actually very fun. Plus, you can even select if you want uh, the CPU to fight against each other when you're just, yeah, doing a normal fight. So you can, so yeah, you can just sit back, relax, enjoy your snacks, and you can see the CPU fight. You can even, put, you can even set it on the highest difficulty. See how they play on the highest difficulty. I do have to mention something about the AI. The AI is sometimes very inconsistent. Sometimes they just let you just completely uh, pummel them. And some that they're just they're just bullying you actually. Some that they're just very pissed off and very aggressive. I mean the AI is is more aggressive in this game than in 14. But still, the sometimes uh, the difficulty really is inconsistent because sometimes I'm just playing on level three, and then one time I'm kicking the AI's ass, and then the other time the AI the AI is kicking my ass, and I'm like, what? What the hell just happened? I, I I'm not playing on level five, am I? But yeah, that's that's a kind of a uh, kind of a minor nitpick actually. Training mode is a training mode. Just go in there, practice your combos, do some crazy shit. The combos are insane, man. The combos are so freaking insane. And missions or trials. Yeah, the trials. They just act trials are actually they just that they just give you actually a bar where where stands what what kind of combos you have to do. And when you figure out, and when you do this combo, you just complete actually the challenge. And there are five of those challenges. Well, I thought the, the trials were a bit short actually. I thought that you had to bump it up to like seven or eight trials. Eight trial combos. But I kind of struggled with, with uh, like level four or five. Especially five actually. But that was because my timing sucks. I suck at timing something. Because sometimes I have to cancel into the climax. Which is the strongest uh, super move, actually special move. So sometimes I have to, I have to cancel on the climax, and I, because I, because my timing sucks, I, I do it. I, I cannot do it. Sometimes it, it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So yeah, my timing kind of sucks. But overall, uh, the trials are they're okay. They're okay for the most part. What I think. Uh, oh, by the way, the gameplay. Let me talk about the gameplay. To um, cl close single player content, the gameplay is so spectacular, man. So many things you can do. I mean, it has auto combos and all. I mean, I can see what people have problem with that. I mean, I would rather do my own combos. I'm look, I I'm with you guys. Auto combos, we don't need auto combos, but they want to appeal to a more no friendly, yeah, fan base. So that's why they did auto combos. But the thing is, William has a square and then. Uh, and then do do third press X. They they actually don't do a special move or a climax special move. When the most of them have three bars and match just one button, you can immediately do a freaking climax, and it, it takes so many damage. Like 50% of your HP goes off with just missing the square button, man. It's insane. Uh, sorry, it's really insane, man. The damage output is insane. And I mean, if if you if you strength combos, the damage is so OP, man. But anyways, the combo is ve it's very fast. It can be uh, it can be very fast at times, very incredibly fast. But yeah, actually, the gameplay is very great. Actually, I enjoy the gameplay a lot. So many combo possibilities. I mean, I I go into training mode so many times. I pick a character and then I'm training so much with them. Even characters I wasn't really interested in, but I try to learn them. And oh my god, I became, I, I thought, oh my god, why didn't I play this character before? They play so goddamn good. And it's all because of the combo possibilities. So many things I can do, so many shit I can figure out. It just feels amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so that was it for the single player con. The single player con is a bit lag, and I would have appreciated survival mode time attack, maybe an arcade mode without ending. Maybe. So yeah, because because we already actually kind of have an arcade mode, 
So yeah, I don't think we really need another arcade mode just for the score. Yeah, I'm kind of mixed up with that. But anyways, I wish they would have added Time Attack and Survival to complete the single player content. I mean, a fighting game needs a survival or time attack. I mean, it at least needs survival. I mean, that, that's good. Now I'm moving on to single, the multiplayer content. It's just me with my single player. I mean multiplayer because that's what the game signs brightest. It has casual match, there's ranked match, it has room match, and many more, man. It is very amazing. The multiplayer is very good in this game. I mean, I went online and got my ass whooped. I mean, I lost like, I mean, I lost five times and won like three times. I suck, guys, I know. But yeah, I went online and I got my ass kicked. I, I, took, a, I took a couple of W's, but still got my ass kicked more. But yeah, the online runs very well, actually. I mean, I thought the online went very smoothly, and I encountered very great, good players. I mean, everyone who kicked my ass, they are very good. I uh, can see it, they practice a lot with this game, or KOF veterans. So yeah, I can, um, I can actually accept my loss. I mean, if someone's better than me, I just have to accept it. I cannot do anything about it, but just get good, you know? I'm not gonna complain or rant about this game just because I suck online. But the online runs very well. I actually didn't encounter anything. It runs very smoothly. And I haven't actually tried ranked matches. I'm not that much of ranked. I just want to fight. I just actually want to fight casual. I just actually want to fight people. I just want to fight people who are better than me. Or just on my level, okay? I, I just really like that, actually. So that's it, actually, for the multiplayer. Multiplayer is, is insanely good. If, if you're searching for multiplayer in this game, this game is for you. This game is for you, man. If you like multiplayer, play this game. And if you like fighting games, play this game, man. Oh yeah, let's give a special mention to the DJ Station. <clears throat> How do I say this? DJ Station rocks. DJ Station rocks incredibly hard, man. I mean, you you get to select songs from KOF 94 up to 15. I mean, that's very cool. And not only that, you, you even get to select music from Fate of Fury, that, uh, that's uh, the game where uh, Terry Bogart originated from, and it's another SNK game. So yeah, that's actually it. And uh, we also have uh, Metal Slug Soundtracks, that's another SNK game, I'm not, I'm not very familiar with it. You also have uh, Samurai Shodan Soundtracks, which is also another SNK game, but it's with Samurai, so yeah, uh, deal with it. <laughs> but anyways, it's very great, and even it even adds another layer to um, to the, to the story mode actually because you have to go for the story mode with an alternate theme so they will tell you to play with um, Kyo, they will pl they will ask you to play with Kades and then question mark so you have to guess which character this really adds another layer to the freaking to the freaking story mode because I mean you really want to unlock the songs I mean SNK has some high quality soundtracks I mean listen to the songs man I mean listen to Goodbye Asaka, let's do Erosion of Saxophone too. I mean listen to the songs they are so good Top notch soundtracks. One of the best soundtracks I've heard in fighting games. So you definitely want to unlock them. Because you can even select them on stages. I mean, you have to press uh, square in the PlayStation 4. And then you can select the, the music that you want. So yeah, it's very great actually. I mean, right from the get go, you get to unlock King of Fighters 94, 15, and 14 music. And the rest you just have to unlock actually. But you have to guess which uh, characters you have to use because uh, Kyo, Kades, and Question Mark, you have to guess. I mean, you even saw my videos on alternative themes of endings and they're interesting. Oh, yeah, that, oh yeah, that, that also. Alternative themes have freaking endings and they're actually pretty interesting and funny at the same time. Because in, in, that, in that video that I showed you guys with uh, Kyo, Kades, and Ash, they were posing as each other and they were saying each other's lines. It was goddamn hilarious. And even the k 13 music, I thought. Oh my god, this, this this is just incredible. This is an incredible bonus ending and so funny and it's funny as well. And you can unlock songs. How great is that, man? I mean, you want to unlock the songs, you want to see the alternate themes ending. It is just, it is just brilliant, man. SNK, you guys are geniuses. Never change SNK. Man, that, that was just so amazing. I, I cannot believe it that they really have endings for alternative themes. But the only thing that uh, I kind of dislike is that when uh, in the ending, when in the first ending, they just speak and I mean they just they just say lyrics and they, you don't hear them speak. But in the bonus endings, you hear them speak actually. So I'm kind of confused why you why you don't hear them speak in the other ending. 
See, I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused about that. But overall, Dita Stays is a great addition. It's an amazing addition. When I when I heard it in the trailer, I thought, wait a second, DJ Station? Oh shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna release a lot of tracks in the stages, man. Which songs are my favorite? Oh my god, that is such a difficult question, man. So many SNK songs are great. But overall, very great game, man. Single player content is a bit lacking. But uh, overall it's very great. Great graphics, amazing gameplay. Was it worth the hype? It was worth it, man. The hype was worth it, man. I was so hyped for this game, and when it came out, I thought, oh my god, this game is the shit. <laughs> it is the shit, man. It was, it was, just, I was just so hyped. I was so happy when I got to play it, and I thought, yes. It was worth the hype because, um, in 2020, I think, was it 2020? Yeah, it was 2020. I was hyped for another game called Marvel's Avengers. I'm a huge Marvel fan, you guys know that. And I was hyped for the game, but when I got it, I thought, "Oh my God, uh, yeah, this game is kind of this game kind of sucks, actually." See, so, yeah, I was very disappointed with the game, and then I thought, "Let me not get overhyped uh, because of some games." Because I was hyping that game up, I was saying, "Marvel's Avengers has the potential to be better than Marvel Spider-Man," but, what, but when I got it, it doesn't even come close. It's not even as good as Marvel Spider-Man. Marvel Marvel Spider-Man is amazing. So yeah, Marvel's Avengers disappointed me. Okay, well, I fucking didn't. This fucking game didn't. Oh shit, sorry. I mean, this uh, this, this freaking game. <laughs> I got too excited there, man. But yeah, this game is amazing, man. I mean, the cover is even amazing. I mean, look at that cover, man. I, I mean, do you see it? Cover is amazing. So yeah, definitely. And also, the, the new characters that are introduced, like Eslan Dolores, are also very good additions to the, to the cast. Oh yeah, the roster. I forgot to mention the roster almost. The roster is uh, is very great actually. It is 39, 39 characters, so that's already more than Street Fighter V at launch. Look, I, I, I like Street Fighter V, but uh, but at launch it was pretty terrible actually. I mean, I heard it was terrible, but this game this game has has plenty has plenty, uh, has pl has plenty of character I have to learn. So yeah, I, I'm pretty I'm more interested in the characters here than I was at 14. And 14, and 14, I was really interested in the characters. But here, man, the characters, the character roster is just so good. And we have him DLC coming up. I mean, Team Garo, Team uh, Southtown. Damn, they're coming up, man. Anyways, that was actually it. So, um, overall, we're gonna move on to my final verdict. It was worth the hype, definitely. And uh, overall, single player con is a bit lacking. Um, yeah, actually, that single player count is a bit lag, and the practice mode is uh, it's, it's okay, it's still a bit lag in here and there. But overall, great graphics, great gameplay, great roster, great online, fun arcade mode. And overall, I'm gonna give this game a final verdict of a, of a 9.5 out of 10. And I don't give a shit about what you think, so me. Yeah, I give it a 9.5. I might have given that. 0.5 points just for uh, my hype maybe it's more of a 9 out of 10 but for, for the hype 9.5 man it's a 9.5 it's that freaking fun and, and people can sue me people can uh, people can go, come in front of my house they can sue me whatever they want they can they can fight me whatever whenever they want but I'm standing by 9.5 for KOF 15 It'll probably be a KOF 15 out of 10 for uh, Maximilian Dude when, uh, Ma when uh, Rock is uh, available because Maximilian Dude loves Rock Howard. I mean, I like Rock Howard too, man. But definitely with DLC, it might have the potential to be a 10 out of 10, maybe. I don't know. I I I I'm still giving it at a 9.5. It's definitely worth the hype. Um, if you're into fighting games, try this game. I mean, it's really good. If you like fighting games with good online, oh my god, this is the game for you, man. So what are you waiting for, fighting games, fighting game fans? What are you waiting for, KOF fans? Buy this goddamn game. It's that good. I give it a 9.5. I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm 17 years old. So yeah, my word isn't the uh, law, but still. Buy this game. I recommend it. It's that freaking fun. Buy it. I mean, it's that good. But yeah, that was it for this video. I'm sorry if this wasn't the video, if this wasn't the game review you were expecting. I tried my best, guys. I really did. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10 for KOF 15. Amazing game. Try it out if you like fighting games. 
And um, yeah, then I would say this is for the for this review. It's a very good game. What I'm gonna what am I gonna do? I'm gonna play some more KOF 15, man. It's just that pretty very fun. I'm just addicted to this game, man. I cannot stop. I almost cannot stop playing this game. I think it will be hard to delete this game. I mean, it's an application, okay? Because sometimes I have to make room for other games. It's gonna be very hard to delete the game, man. Because I'm just so addicted to it. I mean, I can't. I almost cannot stop playing it. I cannot think of going into train mode and try some new shit. I cannot stop thinking about going into arcade mode. This is so goddamn fun. Try this game out, please. Support the KOF plus SNK community. Don't be a toxic bitch. It's it's very good. Ignore those toxic ignore those toxic those uh, toxic bitches. I mean, someone even refunded the game because of the graphics. Why do you refund this amazing game for the graphics? It isn't. E it doesn't even look that bad. It looks amazing, actually. But yeah, I'm, I'm a 70 year old kid who uh, whose first KOF game was KOF 40. So what do I know? But anyways, that was it for this review. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make me the absolute chat I have to be. Not only the chat, but the king of fighters. Yeah, you know, baby. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I appreciate the support my family and friends are giving me. I appreciate uh, the people who are supporting me that I don't really know. I'm still appreciating the support. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.